Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about Learning Objective, Multiply Fractions. So this time, ang involved naman ng operation of a rational numbers is multiplication. So let us consider this situation. It takes Ida three-fourths of an hour to sew a piece of baby's short pants. How many hours will it take her to complete a dozen of baby's short pants? So by understanding the given situation or problem, ang involved itong operation ay multiplication. To help Ida solve her problem, stay focused and go with me as we explore the new lesson that we will discuss in this video. So, paano nga ba mag-multiply ng fractions? So, mathematically, if A, B, C, and D are integers, where B is not equal to 0 and D is not equal to 0, then A over B times C over D equals A times C over B times D or AC over BD. So, kung mapapansin, you just multiply the numerators and denominators to get the product of two fractions na minultiply natin. So, here are the steps in multiplying fractions. First, multiply the numerators of the two fractions and multiply the denominators of the two fractions. Or simply, numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Two, express your answer in lowest term if possible. So, kukuhanin natin yung reduced form. So, we also have alternative steps. Use cancellation if possible. Canceled out common factors in the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. So, ito ay isa sa mga steps na pwede natin gawin para mas mapadali ang pagmumultiply ng fractions. So, we can make use of cancellation wherein pwede natin i-cancel yung mga common factors or express muna natin yung fraction in lowest term bago natin siya i-multiply. So, let's have an example. One-thirds times two-fifths. Okay, so sinabi dun si steps natin, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, therefore, we need to multiply the numerators 1 and 2. So, hindi na tayo dito gagamit ng cancellation since the two fractions are already in reduced form. So, 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. Therefore, the product is 2 over 15. So, let's have example 2. 5, 6 times 4, 8. So, this time, we can make use of cancellation wherein pwede natin ditong i-cancel yung 4, 8. i we reduce natin in lowest term. So, both can be divided by 4. Or the common factors between 4 and 8 is 4. So, 4 divides 4 is 1. And 8 divides 4 is 2. So, therefore, the lowest term is 1 half. So, wala na tayong makakancel. Then, we can now proceed to multiplying numerators and numerators, denominator by denominators. Okay? So, therefore, 5 times 1 is 5. Then, 6 times 2 is 12. So, we have 5, 12. So, therefore, that will be our final answer. So, let's have our last example for today. So, we have example 3. So, we're in the given is 10 over 15 times 9 over 30. So, kung mapapansin nyo, medyo malaki yung digits ng ating uh, denominators. 
So therefore, para mas mapadali, we can make use of cancellation again. So pwede natin i-cancel yung numerator ng second fraction at denominator ng first fraction. So, 9 and 15, meron siyang common factor na 3. So, we can divide 9 and 15 by 3 to get the lowest term. Again, pwede ka mag-cancel ng numerator and denominator na magkaibang fraction. So, 9 divides 3 is 3, 15 divides 3 is 5. So, we can also cancel 10 and 30. So, both can be divided by 10. So, 10 divides 10 is 1. 30 divides 10 is 3. So, ano pa yung pwede natin makancel? 3 and 3. So, that is equal to 1. So, ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-multiply. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Then, 5 times 1 is 5. So, the answer is 1 fifth. So, that's how we multiply fractions. So, we can make use of cancellation para mas mapadali or para mas mapabilis ang pag-multiply natin ng fractions katulad ng pinakita ko sa example 2 and 3. So, going back to our problem, so, ang ating given ay 3 fourths of an hour and then you have a dozen. So, meaning ng dozen ay 12 pieces. So, we're in kapag isa daw, na sh uh, baby's short pants, it takes 3 fourths of an hour. How about 12 pieces? So, therefore, to get the total number of hours to complete a dozen of short pants, we need to multiply 3 fourths by 12. So, mababansin nyo kapag whole number, the denominator is 1. So, that is 3 fourths times 12 over 1. So, cancel natin yung 12 and 4. So, both can be divided by 4. So, 12 divides 4 is 3. Then, 4 divides by 4 is 1. Then, multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. So, yung denominator natin ay 1. Hindi na natin siya ilalagay. So, therefore, 9 hours. So, for our conclusion, thus, Aida can complete a dozen pieces of baby's short pants in 9 hours. So that is one of the examples of the application of multiplication of fractions in real life. So it's your time to get your pen and paper and do the activity. So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.